Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22, and today, verse 42, just one verse here in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane, and let's hear what we have. I'm actually going to take some 41 and 42. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. So here's Jesus. His will, his human will, the, the part of his humanity that would rise up would say, hey, I don't want to be tortured. I don't want to die for these weasels. These people are not very faithful to, to, to you and your kingdom. Why shouldn't I just walk away? That's what the human part of Jesus would, would tell him to do. But Jesus said, not, not that. Your will be done. And he just was urgent to be surrendered to the Father's will. And so he goes to the garden and he he's, goes directly to the Father. Father, if it is your will, take this cup away. It's all by God's will. If it's not God's will to remove the suffering, the suffering of this extreme test, then Jesus says, don't remove it. Don't remove it. Walk with me through this test. And so here is Jesus, our Jesus, our pattern, our example, our Lord and Savior. And here is what we have. He says, your will be done. Not even my will, but your will. And that's what we, you and I, need to do. We need to always say, Father, not your, not my will, but your will. Because the Father's will will always be the, the will of peace, the will of the best. It will be the best thing that can be given to us. It might not seem that way. It might not seem that way. When you're in the dentist's chair and he's going to do some drilling, you know, you're not, it's not your favorite moment, but it might be good that after the drilling's over, that, that item has been taken care of and it doesn't continue to be an issue, the Father will take us through whatever, whatever it's coming. So I don't really like to use the de dental chair analogy, but, you know, a lot of us don't look forward to that. So may the Father be your keeper, just as he was Jesus' keeper at this most extreme test of his life. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your watch care over us. We're looking to you today. And we're looking to Jesus, Jesus of all places in the Garden of Gethsemane, and Jesus even there is our example. So help us, Lord, when we're under the most extreme duress, the most extraordinary testing. Oh, Lord, would you be our helper and be with us and take us through whatever emergencies are upon us and help us to be faithful to the end, just as Jesus was. It'll be by your will, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the Father's will be done in your life today, and may his blessings be upon you throughout this 24 or so hour period of this day. Why not?